that Tesla spent $2.4 billion on new production capacity, server centers, and supercharging locations, among other items, their cash still increased by $5.9 billion, bringing their total hoard up to $14.5 billion. Now, I can remember only about a year ago when people still worried that Tesla was functionally backwards. Now, I can argue that it's got the best balance sheet in the industry. When it comes to Tesla, the doubters were wrong and the believers were right. Those believers are not the rich, cautious, state creatures of index fund handcuffs. They're the individual investors who are sick and tired of being told that they're stupid. Too stupid to manage their own money. Turns out they can make a lot of money when you buy stock in a great company with a visionary CEO and a revolutionary product. That shouldn't take so many people by surprise. And I hope it doesn't after the shimmering star that is Elon Musk. It's the same here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Um, Jim Cramer is one of those people that were skeptical about Tesla for a long time. It, it, he was skeptical, skeptical, skeptical about Tesla because he didn't see the value proposition that Tesla as a company has to offer to the public, especially being a public company that everyday people can buy buy into. Like I've said in this channel, my goal my goal when it comes to my Tesla investment is to start with investing twenty dollars every single day five days a week um you know every single day for as long as i possibly can for as long as i still believe that tesla has the power to change the world when it comes to um uh the new technology that they they, they, they are they, they, they're working on the self-driving the gigafactory uh the the factory that is coming out in berlin uh in, in texas their new product line, Plaid Model S, the creation of a brand new battery system. I mean, the, the company is doing such amazing things that would change the world. Like, for example, the, the, the FSD uh, business, it's going to change things when it comes to transportation. Because I believe that in the future, most people would, would, uh, would um, just be able to pay for like a, a, a service for the month. So like has uh, how you have your pay, uh, your phone plan or or your car payment, you might have maybe a $100 uh, payment for unlimited Uber rides. So can you imagine if you have a situation like that and um, Tesla as a company that creates all the whole ecosystem, um, they can make money from it, you know? Uh, the, the, the owner of the cars can also make money for their car. Like instead of driving, going out to drive, you can just buy a bunch of Tesla and those cars can actually go out and go work for you. So these are a lot of, these are the things that Tesla is working on, self-driving, uh, auto beta software, so many things that Tesla is uh, working on. And Jim Cramer is right with this one. The people that have won during, during this whole thing that Wall Street was literally against Tesla, the people that have won has been the retail people, people like you and I, that we know, we know what the company is up to. We keep up with the company a lot more than Wall Street. Uh, we are the people that we basically want when it comes to our investments in Tesla. So I'm going to go over some of my investments in Tesla. Like, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I've, how, how I've been dollar cost averaging into, into the stock, the performance. Um, uh, do some technical analysis on, uh, Tesla stock. So without taking too much time, let's get right into it. It's going to be a fun pack video. We are going to go over the, the quarterly earnings as well. So this video is going to be really, really jam-packed with good quality information. So let's get straight straight into it. Into anything else, before we get into my investments in Tesla, show you all the numbers and everything, I'm going to quickly go over some of the, the, the quarterly earnings from, 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 from Tesla and, um, and uh, just, just share that with, share that with you guys. Um, Tesla has done, Tesla, did very very well during during the um the 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 past three months. They have they total. Okay, so let's just take a look at some of the numbers here really quickly. They they made the, the total revenue increase as you guys can see from here from la, from the from the same time last year. Um, I don't I don't know if these numbers are in billions. I think they must they must be in billions. Uh, last year they had a, this time last year they had a total revenue of three point uh six point three billion, and now 
for the past three months they've increased you're what I'm doing here please take a moment to like this video subscribe to the channel go and look around my um, YouTube channel check out what I'm about check out what I'm what I'm doing here I'm a dividend investor I'm a day trader and I have a challenge that I've set for myself to get to my first million dollars and I'm committed to sharing it with you so please take a moment hit that like button hit that subscribe button as well because it really helps me out that's how you help me out uh, in terms of growing my YouTube channel and at the same time um, you have a ton of information if you're interested in dividend investing day trading you have a ton of information with this channel and lots more information to come so please take a moment subscribe like some of my videos so YouTube can push it out to other people appreciate you let's get back into it I have everything just on my iPad here so let me just go through it with you guys they produce they produce a total of 100 145,000 cars um, they delivered they delivered 130 139,000 uh, when it comes to their cars their profit the total profit that they made this qu quarter uh, our gap profit was 131 million dollars uh, and their total revenue uh, for this this uh, for the past three months has been 8.7 billion uh, they exceeded Wall Street expectation they ex exceeded Wall Street expectation by um, by about five um, 500 million uh, Wall Street expectation was um, 8.2 billion and their total revenue for the past three months ended up being 8.7 billion so they really killed it uh, then the, the net cash flow the total amount of money that um, that basically came into the company net cash flow is 1.4 1.4 billion dollars um, and the total amount of money that Tesla has now in their bank account is 14.5 billion listen that is a war chess when it comes to money uh, I think by now Tesla can handle anything that comes their way uh, when it comes to any and anything financially I think they, they can handle it if you guys also remember last uh, within the past three months they raised they raised uh, 5.6 billion almost six billion dollars from selling shares uh, into the public market, so they diluted that diluted the shares by one percent. So that that is uh, that is that is that is really good. So yeah, they have they ha they now have uh, fourteen point five billion dollars in their bank account, and uh, they also earned the 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 regulatory credit that they earned was three point three point seven uh three three hundred and ninety seven million dollars. And for you guys that don't know, regulatory credit is basically when other car makers, other car companies pay Tesla for being an ele electric car maker. Because each government of different countries, like in Europe, in America, in China, in different parts of Asia, they are all requiring that manufacturers, car manufacturers, have to manufacture more electric cars. And um, Tesla being a company that they solely only manufacture electric cars, they get what they call um, regulatory credits, right? Those are all the car companies like Toyota, Hyundai, Mercedes, all these different companies, they pay Tesla just because Tesla does not make any ICE cars. They only make EV cars. So that total, that total $390 million this quarter, and the the the, the 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 other big thing that even made the, the numbers a little bit less, it could have been even it, it would have been higher. Uh, Tesla as a company, we we the shareholders, we we had to pay we had to pay Elon this this past three months. We had to pay him two hundred and ninety million dollars, and that's because of his uh, compensation plan. For you guys that don't know, um, Tesla, Elon does not get paid. Um, a regular paycheck from being as his as a CEO as from his job as a CEO he has all these milestones that the company has to hit before he gets paid so I want you guys to keep that in mind um, he, he's actually invested in the company so he gets paid in the company shares 
and in this in the past three months he got um he got 200 200 290 million dollars why as i was editing the video i realized i didn't point out that elon uh this shares that tesla tesla awards to elon he can't even sell it for the next five years so this was happening imagine you get paid in a company shares after you've gotten paid in the company shares this share is that you've gotten paid. You can't even spend it. You can't use it for the next five years. So that means your, your, your interests, you're personally interested and invested in the success of the company. That's the pay structure that Tesla, we the shareholders, we have for Elon. That's the standard that we've held them up to. So I just thought, let me point that out let me get back. For, for that. Um, those are the main, those are the main highlights for this. Uh, for this for this balance sheet here those are the main highlight I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave this information in the description for those people that are interested in going over the numbers um, like I just said I just basically uh, put condense all this information and highlighted the important parts to you guys um, as you can see total production here is 145 they were able to deliver they were able to deliver 139,000 cars so I'm going to leave all the information in the description for you guys to check out. All this information, I'll leave it in the, in the, in the description for you to go check. Another big thing that I wanted to highlight for you guys is uh, the battery day. Um, they, they, made, they made the note, that, which, is, which is a good thing. They made the note this time to include what they, uh, that the main highlights during battery day that Wall Street was getting, getting it wrong. They made the note to in include it in this uh, earnings report. Which is a good, which is a great thing, you know. You guys have to remember, as Tesla is increasing their, their their battery production, which is the main thing. The most expensive part of a Tesla vehicle is the battery, right? As they increase their production, uh, they are reducing. You see, they're increasing their production by by um fifty four percent, and they're also reducing the re they're reducing the cost right here. They re they're reducing the cost by 56 percent and um their total production basically the amount of money that it cost them to produce everything also has also increased so basically they are able to accomplish this because tesla built the machine that builds the machine that builds the machine so you need to understand that when tesla needs uh, uh need something done like let's say they need a part done they can't just go and buy the, the machine that's going to make the parts. They actually build the machine that is going to make the parts. And then the parts that the machine makes, then makes the parts for the car. <laughs> you get it? And then the car itself, it's a machine because the car is a computer on wheels. You know? So these are the things that I'm trying to highlight to you guys with my channel. I'm trying to show you that Tesla is one of those companies that we all need to keep a close eye on they are beginning their growth and i believe that this is a cheap price to buy to buy tesla at this moment so let's look at some of their their gigafactory here so this is their shanghai gigafactory the one in china it looks like they they, they like building they're basically building it up and then they're showing us some of the, the uh their improvements here some of you know all the all the improvements that they're making this is what I'm saying. They built, they, they would base, if they need this machine right here, they would basically engineer the machine, make the machine, and then this machine will build all the parts that, and the other machine will need in order for it, for, for it to build the machine. Um, I've already highlighted, um, I've already, um, showed you guys the, I already showed you guys the, uh, earnings call. I'm gonna leave it in the notes if you haven't listened to it. I urge you to listen to it. Um, you can listen to it as a podcast in a car or something like that. Um, listen to the earnings call. You can hear all their plans, all the senior management. You hear what they're talking about. Um, I believe that Wall Street is completely wrong if they are if they think that Tesla as a company will not accomplish their goal. I believe they're going to accomplish their goal. This is the Ber Berlin factory. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. God knows who. Maybe they're gonna clear out this part too to add another extension there. But yeah, look at this factory. Beautiful. It's coming up nicely. You know, that's the Berlin factory. 
This is the Giga Factory in Texas. This is the Texas location. It's coming in together beautifully. You know, they highlighted the mega pack here. So the um the upside for Tesla is absolutely amazing. I uh I think people are completely wrong when they are not taking Tesla as seriously as they pro as they probably should take Tesla. Like they are completely wrong. But yeah, let's look at some um some technical let's look at some technical analysis uh because I'm 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 a trader by nature, you know. So I prefer to look at things from a technical point of view. Uh that is what I'm really really good at. So let's take a look at this. So let me let's do some breakdown. Let's look at some of the look at some of the charts here. So as you see at this point, this was when Tesla was a hundred and a hundred and eighty dollars. You know, it came down, hit this yellow line, which is which is uh, the fifty moving average. And for you guys that don't know that maybe you don't trade, moving at, when when the stock hits a certain moving average, it, it, it typically just either bounce up up off it to the to, uh, to the upside or breaks it below it to and go further down. Now Tesla as before before right before they basically they basically basically bounced off here came up and then they went further down now the same thing looks like is happening up here right because of all the uncertainty that is going on right now um tesla is currently testing the 50 moving average now i'm keeping an eye on this because if Tesla will come down to right right here, which is the hundred day moving average, if they will get down to this point, I'll be putting in maybe another extra two, three hundred dollars. I'm buying a little bit more. And then if it ever comes, ever comes down to the two hundred day average, um that's that means it, it will be at Tesla stock price will be at two hundred and two hundred two hundred and seventy five dollars. I will be a net buyer uh, of Tesla stock aggressively if he ever pulls down to 200 200 dollars i probably would be buying like 200 dollars every day at that point but for now um tesla is holding up really really nicely as compared to as compared to the general market tesla is really really holding up very 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 nicely so let me let me pull up uh some few more other information here i'll be right back picture view that i always like to share with you guys when tesla went public they went public at three dollars okay and the story hasn't changed for elon right elon has always said they are going to be by 2020 they're going to make over 500,000 cars which they are looking like it's going to happen now this is a story that we're looking at with tesla if you had listened to wall street you would have missed out completely. Now let's let's bring this down a little bit and look at the year today. Even with all the drama that has happened this year, even with all the drama that has happened this year, Tesla has gone up by. Let's see here, it has gone up this year alone five hundred and thirteen percent. Okay, five hundred and thirteen percent. That is the a typical stock will move up or down. Well. Well, on the typical year, um, the average return for the stock market is usually eight to ten percent. So now, at the um, this time last year, if you had put a hundred dollars into Tesla, your money would have grown um five hundred and thirteen percent. Okay, this is the growth that Tesla is saying right here. Um, the little let, let me look at the month here or six months. This 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 tiny drop. This, oh, sorry about that. This tiny drop here, when it comes to the bigger picture, 16% pullback is really not much, okay? As compared to the entire market, Tesla has really, 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 really hold up nicely in the market. So I strongly believe this is the best place for me to compound my money over the next 10, 15 years. And I'm committed to that $20 per day in Tesla stock right into it and look at some of the numbers here as you guys as you guys may know already tesla stock came down uh pretty hard like i showed you guys um once if if tesla hits like the the, the 100 day moving average i'll be buying i'll be buying tesla stock aggressively 
Uh, right now, I currently own own about um, eight, eight and a half shares. Um, I'm I'm hoping someday I can get this to hundreds, one hundred to three hundred shares, uh, even thousands of shares at some point in the future. But but for the past in my portfolio here for the past let's see for the past year we are up we up seventy percent now. This has gone down quite a lot because in my last video we were up like hundred and fifty percent. So. It's gone down a lot, but for me, this presents serious, serious. And when I mean serious, I mean serious buying opportunity here. It's not even a joke for me. So I'm, I'm putting in as much money as I possibly can into Tesla stock. This presents serious buying opportunity for me. So uh, for the past year, we are up 70%. Uh, the past three months, past three months, 23%. And the past month here, we're down 10%. So this is good for me. When Tesla stock goes down, I want to be buying it aggressively. We are only 300 dollars um, $387 per share here. So I want to be buying this thing aggressively. So for the past week, we're down um 7% that's 200 uh, 200 uh, 2776 and as of today we're down a hundred and fifty a uh, hundred and ninety four dollars here so I'm I, I'm aggressively buying this thing as quickly as I possibly can uh, and as soon as I possibly can so yeah that's that's exactly what we're doing here if you're enjoying what I'm doing here please take a moment to like this video subscribe to the channel go and look around my um, YouTube channel check out what I'm about check out what I'm what I'm doing here I'm a dividend investor I'm a day trader and I have a challenge that I've set for myself to get to my first million dollars and I'm committed to sharing it with you. So please take a moment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well because it really helps me out. That's how you help me out uh, in terms of growing my YouTube channel. And at the same time, um, you have a ton of information if you're interested in dividend investing, day trading, you have a ton of information with this channel and lots more information to come. So please take a moment, subscribe, like some of my videos so YouTube can push it out to other people. Appreciate you. Let's, let's, um, let's go over some of the transactions here. Um, so on the first, just gonna run through the run through the month of my of my purchases. Uh, ten dollars, ten dollar purchase here. If we go back, uh, okay. So okay, just only just only one page. So this is this was the first purchase of the month, October first. Um, and then you, as you can see, every day, every day here, I'm committed to putting my 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 twenty dollars on average. Uh, some days I put more, some days I put less, thirty, twenty one, and that's how I'm dollar cost averaging into the stock every single every single day. And I believe this is the one. Of, this is one of the best ways to actually capture. This is one of the best ways to capture the move, the the bigger move in Tesla, um, Tesla as a company. This is one of the biggest ways to actually capture the move because you never know the right. You never know when you are buying a stock at a cheaper price because nobody can predict the the, the future price. You know, you might think you're buying it's at a cheaper price today two weeks from now it can even be cheaper or it, it can be higher nobody knows what the price would do two weeks from now so to, to to help myself in terms of um not losing money to protect the downside of not losing money i just like to dollar cost average into the market it's not like i, I can't just dump the money in yes i can just dump the money in but I prefer to just dollar cost average over time. And then if I have any extra cash that I want to increase, I, that I want to put into the stock, I'd rather increase the amount of money that I dollar cost average into it. I believe this is one of the safest way to get into any particular stock that you want to, that you want to get into. So I'm, uh, I'm, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be committed to showing you guys all these purchases. And, uh, and also, also show you guys, you know, how the, how the portfolio 
the um, Tesla in Tesla part of the portfolio how, exactly how it's doing and how it has been performing so this is the transportation and energy and trans transportation sector of my portfolio and as you can see here Tesla is absolutely killing it uh, when it comes to growth Neo is also has been killing it so far we've been doing more videos on Neo but for now let me just um, focus in on Tesla and um, yeah let me get into some of this some of the other other things other innovative things that Tesla is up to that I want to show you guys let me get right into it and show you that I'm, that I'm talking um, telling you guys about that I'm trying to trying to point out to you guys this car right here it's a Tesla it's literally driving itself as you can see right here on the screen here you can see the car it's basically just driving itself the car is basically just driving itself around and the car is literally driving itself around here um like you can see you can see right up here he record the car recognized all these other cars right all the cars that are coming it's basically driving itself this is Robo. Here's, here's a night view. Here's a night view of Tesla FSD. As you can see, the cars, the cars can see all the other cars. Uh, ahead, you can see the, you can see the lights, lights ahead right here. You can see the lights, the paved roads. You can see the paved roads, uh, right here. You can even see all the way to the, to the turns, to the right turns right here. So, this. F, uh, self-driving car, this, this Tesla self-driving car is going to change things when it comes to transportation. Because once Tesla perfect this, F once Tesla perfects the, once they perfect the self-driving, um, um, this, the software, once they perfect it, can, can